still looks like dry grass to me. A massive, scaly, city roasting, all destroying, foul, lump and slavering. Ahem. Yet somehow majestically beautiful dragon. Good grief! It looks like it's been made by a catapulted elephant. That doesn't work. A picture of a safe? Hmm, bit dusty. That doesn't work. What's this stain then? Smells a bit funny, this bed. That doesn't work. What's this say? If using bath, please remember our other patrons and clean the bathroom after use. If using Ankmore Pork River water, please remember your next of kin and leave a will pinned to the door. Eau de toilette. I've always felt there was something rather unwholesome about dabbing one's face with toilet water. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. What a ludicrous painting. That doesn't work. Soap on tap, what will they think of next? That doesn't work. Ah, now with a desk. 
like that, a man can really defer some serious questions. That doesn't work. That doesn't... I have, I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. I already have one of those. I never did have much time for corn flour. Hey, buddy. Who, me? Have you ever... Isn't that all underwater? That's just its advantage. Think of it. A seaside retreat. Right. Well, don't be a stranger. Cheers. Hey, buddy. Who, me? Have you ever... Isn't that... That's... Think of it. Right. Well, don't be a stranger. Cheers. Here you are then. What? You mean this? This is actually all the gold in the kingdom? Yeah. Well, technically we're a democracy, you know. 
One man, one vote. The patrician's got the vote because he's the man. But that's all the gold, yeah. Definitely. Would I lie? Oh, fine. Fine. I, I, it's just, I never thought you'd actually... Uh, uh, never mind. Is it all right? I mean, you haven't changed your mind or anything? Mm? Uh, no, no. Can I have my banana, then? Uh, uh sure. Here. Uh, right. Yeah, right. Uh, right you are, then. <laughs> I'll just, uh... I'll just go off with all the gold in the uh, dictatorially democratic regime, then, shall I? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Die horribly somewhere. A solid gold banana. How very odd. Hmm. Fruit with its own wrappings. Excuse me, do you have the book Recoglimento's Never Failing Guide to Dragon Summonation? Ooh, stolen? But that's... that's... Ooh, exactly! Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm sorry. Oh! I have to say the secret librarian's oath. Huh. Is that all? What happens if I ever reveal the words to an outsider? Oh, oh yeah, I see. Actually, I... I never even knew you could do that with an entire 16-volume encyclopedia. <laughs> Worst things happen at sea. On some ships, I suppose. Well, I suppose it saves on making your bed of a morning. I'd best leave him be. Illustrious tome of levitation. Oh yes, that's that's levitating, all right. Oh dear, there's little pamphlets living in it.
Ah. Let's not press this curiosity thing too far then, shall we? Hmm. Sex magic. The book of the 32 unspeakable acts, with a compendium containing several speakable ones, and six more that everyone involved would rather forget about. No wonder it's on ice. Must come in handy, stacked with all the latest monkey accessories. That's where the dragon summoning book used to live. That doesn't work. Let's see. Smooth, irregular, smells of paraffin. I wonder what it could be. Clear off you. Every time you come around, you start trouble. Who, oh, me? Bad luck comes in pairs, I suppose. Could I just ask... Go away! Look, haven't you two got anything you'd rather be doing? Well, yes. I suppose I could go home and, and arrange some flowers and that. I could go see that psychiatricist bloke. What do you want to go and see him for? No. I told the captain I thought my wife was beautiful, and he gave me a chit to go and see the psychiatricist. Greetings! I am the mighty wizard Rincewind. A wizard? A real wizard? Uh, yeah. And don't you forget it. Not impressed. You can't go in. So 
So which one of you has the ugly wife? No, we're not falling for that again, you know. Yeah. Our friendship is based on deep mutual respect. Really? Well, up to a point. Are you going to let me in? No. Well, I'll just move along then, shall I? Fine. Clear off you. Every time you come around, you start trouble. Oh, me? Look, is he all right? A malaria. Malaria? He's got a poison dart sticking out of him. Just ignore him. Probably put it there himself to attract the girls. He probably likes it there. I'm sure he doesn't. Well, he'd complain if he didn't. Look, um, I don't mean to pry, but are you sure your friend's all right? Oh, uh, bitten by a mosquito, that's what. Happened on a treasure hunt, I reckon. Yep, yeah, he'll be better after he's had a nice lie down. In trouble with the law? An open and shut case looms before you. Then try the Assassin's Guild Witness Relocation Plan. We will relocate any witness to the bottom of the River Ank within the hour. Free Dragon Victim Disposal Service. Reasonable rates. Contact Prendergast Path Gritting Emporium. Experienced Virgin wanted. Good pay. Immediate prospects for promotion. Unseen University's cock. High time justice was done, if you ask me. You! Yes. Yeah. What is it? What are you doing here? They say I'm a pancake thief. I also got done for impersonating a frog in a toad-only zone. If you ask me, these bylaws are going too far. Let's see. Wanton flapjackery, pancake heist, and lurking with intent. Ah, now, um, let's try and keep quite calm about this, shall we? A clinical objective examination is quite within the parameters of... Well, busy day? No, no, I'm actually toning the butchery and combat aspects down a bit. I've had a bit of a chat with her mothership, and we're re-examining our stance. Hmm? Well, slaughtering someone just on suspicion of lustful intent seemed a bit excessive particularly in the light of these new mayhem and justifiable carnage bylaws, it's so hard to prove moral and religious outrage when you've just threaded the prime witnesses onto a pool cue. Yes, yes, I, I quite see what you mean. What you probably want is some sort of receipt system. You know, have them file a form with you declaring lustful intent, and then you'd have something to show the city guards afterwards. You mean, once I've scooped out their spleen and... Yeah, yeah, well, you could tailor your responses more, too. I mean, match retaliation with the intent. I mean, mere pulse quickening might be worth two black eyes. Your actual wolf whistle might be loss of consciousness, plus one to four teeth. And your pat on the backside might say, require removal of the offending limb. And the spleen? Well, all right, if you must. It's just I'm getting good at those. And kidneys. I just don't know how many people are supposed to have. Is it two or four? Well, I think it varies according to personal need. Anyway, what do you think? Well, it all sounds much more reasonable. I think I rather like all that. Thank you, that's ever so helpful. Ah, background colour. Gad, but there's no expense spared in this place. I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. Will you shut up and sit down? Why 
have all the teddy bears in the window got fangs? Greeting, shopkeeper. Good day, sir. Can I interest you in our toys? There's today's special, an amusing line of bells and whistles. Or there's Violent Bob, the doll with a face you can rip clean off. Hey, eh? It's very therapeutic. I'm sure. The sort of thing you can share with your brothers. Brothers of evil, walking arm in arm across the rooftops of the world. Are you all right? Pardon? Oh, oh, yes, yes. Never felt better. So, can I help you at all, sir? Anything special catch your eye? Oh, just browsing. Browsing? Yes. Not... not plotting? Definitely. Not secretly planning the overthrow of the patrician and the total dominance of the city? No, no, not at all. Oh, damn. Right you are, sir. Browse away. Ah! It's a doll of the jolly old Hogfather. And verily shall he bellow forth the ten sacred names of the Forbidden Dawn. Ives, go away, lest the curses of the Temple of Offla be upon you. Offal? Oh, Offla! Dra begins with a dub. Now push off and don't ruffle my cloak. Some weather we're having then. Weather is of no interest to me. Why? It wouldn't dare inconvenience a black monk of Offla. Be gone or else feel the wrath of the mighty Offler and the emasculated knights of the holy gold blast! You've got me all confused! Just push off right now! And verily shall he bellow forth the ten sacred names of the Forbidden Dawn. Try again later, or earlier. I tell a lie, the nine sacred names of the Forbidden Dawn. Try again later. Or earlier. Then shall he stride forth, and many shall be the number of his stridings. Fall across. Morning, Fishmonger. Busy day. Fairly hectic, sir. The ray over there keeps trying to escape. Escape? How on earth does it think it can survive up on dry land? Well, it's a ray of hope, sir. I think you're eating too many fish eggs. It's good for you. That's quality seafood, sir. Isn't caviar expensive? I don't mind shelling out the money. No more puns. Wizards never could take a yoke. Don't say it. Oh, come on, you can keep up. Stop it, you get me all tongue-tied. You're floundering for new lines, sir. I'll be... Quiet! At least it sharpened my definition. Watch your squire. Good gods! That's... inventive. Ill work has been afoot. I have you to thank for this. Business is booming. You must really have the market on the hop. It's going forward in leaps and bounds, sir. I'm trying to give business a leg up. Oh, no. Everyone says it's a good career move. Just think of the saving in footwear. I'm surprised they let you stay here. They don't like beggars. Didn't the city guard try to shoo you off? Oh, no, sir. I told them begging wasn't my sole reason. Let me guess. You wanted a toehold into a bigger market. 
So, do I have legitimacy now, sir? No, now you're just having a leg to stand on. Ah, I see your point. I'll work on it. Here, why are the straps attached to these armrests? That doesn't work. Now, this won't hurt a bit. Open wide. I think... I think the medical and hair care professions still have a long way to go. How goes it with the clickies? I just formed a company, United Alchemists. We're working on our first feature now. Is it going well? Oh, sort of. Well, well no, not really. Uh, good actors are impossible to find. Looks like a little home for a very little creature. Leave the camera alone. What's in here then? Looks like cooking oil. That doesn't work. Where'd you put all that stuff? It contains corn. I say, this poor beast looks under the weather. That doesn't work. I'd need a very good reason before I go into the shades. Comfy looking bench, that.
picture of a safe. That Hmm, bit dusty. Poetic, isn't it? I can't shift it. Cogli Minto's never failing guide to Dragon Summer Nation. That's two no trumps, fish. Famine, have you got, uh, nine? Hmm. Well, I accuse Colonel Horseradish in the library with a lead pipe. Um, are you sure we're all playing the same game here? Damn, I've forgotten what I was going to say now. That little idiot over there's ruined my concentration. War? Is he one of yours? Him? No, that's one of Death's. You shouldn't let them run around loose like that, Death. They could breed, and then you'll never get rid of them. Want me to kill him for you? No. No point, really. Death? Have you got Mr. Bun the Baker? Not until his oven explodes next week. Oh, I see what you mean. Thank you. 
<laughs> Recogli Minto's never failing guide to dragon summer nation. Anything that. Who do you think you're poking? I'm a great wizard, I am. Turn you into a mindless, ugly toad. Gosh, it worked. Well, I suppose I can just hide behind here then. Mmm, hello? Hail! Yes, hail, brother doorkeeper. Hey, hang on. You're not dressed right. There's nothing forbidding in black about you that isn't. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. I need a...
Jewelry box. <laughs> Soap on tap. What will they think of next? What a ludicrous painting! Quaking little wretch, isn't he? I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. Interesting. <laughs> ah, therapy in action. <laughs> oh, hello. This is all your fault, you know. Now they've got me on therapy. Yeah, well, don't bother getting up. That's a nice pot you're making there, by the way. It's supposed to be a hat rack. Oh, well, don't let me disturb you. I'll just quietly walk on my way. So, life's gone to pot, eh? <laughs> what are you doing here? Therapy. The psychiatrist said I should try doing something useful with my hands. You mean as opposed to thumping people? Yeah, the magic just seems to have gone out of it. You again? Shut up, it's difficult this is. It's hard keeping your mind on something when it's spinning round and around. Well, how would I know that? <laughs> yes, yes, I see, I see. Thank you very much. Well, goodbye. <laughs> nope, I can't shift it. <laughs> nope. I can't shift it. But the fish don't seem to mind.
that doesn't work. Well, I suppose I can just hide behind here then. Good thing I brought you along, eh? That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Hmm. At least I hope it's only been used for holding water.
Well, I'll catch you later then. The die is running, turning my skin all blue! That doesn't work. A wet, dripping monk. I wonder if I can muster some crocodile tears. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. A wet, dripping monk. I wonder if I can muster some crocodile tears. So, what do you think about all this? Oh, I see. Morning, Fishmonger. Busy day. Fairly hectic, sir. The ray over there keeps trying to es escape. Well, I think you're eating too many fish eggs. It's good for you. That isn't caviar. Exp I don't mind. No more pump. Wizards never. Don't say it. Oh, stop it. You get me all tongue tied. You're floundering for. Oh, be quiet. What's this then? For a nice time, eat well, drink happily, and find an amusing and rewarding occupation on a sunny day. That doesn't work. If only I had another dimension, I'd teach you a thing or two.
Ah, well, bouncing, being an active, happy sort of motion, obviously implies a playful nature. I hope he's going to be friendly to me. Greetings! Hello. Are, are you, um, uh, uh, it begins with a T, um, uh, a troublemaker? No. 
No, why do you ask? Oh, well, I'm bored, see. That's the downside of being a bouncer. You have to wait minutes sometimes for the decent fight. It's too quiet, standing here with nothing to do. You get so bored in sometimes. I hit me own head for just something to do. I mean, unless someone actually asks you to thump them, there's nothing to do except wait. You're paid for this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just, uh, I just, uh, 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 it begins with a T. Thump people. What? At random? Ooh. Oh, I don't use no complicated stuff like at random. Oh, no. I, I just thump people what cause trouble in the bar, you see, in, in the bar. Sounds like a better idea. Saves wear and tear on the knuckles. Only thing is the boredom. It almost uh, as if I hear people asking to be thumped. I might change my job to just thumping anybody who comes by. <laughs> Do you think that's taking things too far? Well, oh, it's quite a jump. <laughs> when you say that, I, 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 I thought you, you say thump. Sorry, it's one of them mistaken identity thingies. Is your head all right? Did you get the number of that donkey car? Didn't hit you too hard, did I? Yeah, thank you, Mother. Oh, I'm fine. It's just a little lump. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> there I go again. A creature of impulse. You look a bit seedy. Are you all right? Oh, I, I don't feel so good. I, I think I'm going into a bit of a slump. Oh, oh so, sorry, sorry. Oh, where can I put me face? See, when you say that, I... I... Yeah, mm, uh, excuse me, I think I hear someone calling. Very thoroughly beaten, I'd say. No, oh, go away. I've had enough. I've just been beaten to a pulp without so much as an explanation. You keep your distance or I'll scream. What a lovely picture of the top three place cats in the annual Ankh-Morpork Cat Show. Mm, why, so it is. And worthy of considerable contemplation. That doesn't work. Oi! Those are complimentary, those are. So why can't I take one? Well, you have to compliment the bar on its drinks first. But I haven't had anything to drink. That's all right. What are you having? Old Uncle Benjamin's patent embalming fluid. Counterwires wine. Old Uncle Benjamin's patent stain remover. Hmm. Old Uncle Benjamin. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Actually, terror is a fair way of responding to this place. I must remember it for future reference. Go away! No ghosts! No ghosts! Relax, son. I'm a wizard. Let me buy a drink. So, um, what's all this about ghosts then, old son? In my room, a vile creature from the nethermost depths. It took me gate pass and then it just left. Oh, I'll never forget the horror. Gate pass? Hmm. You said you'll never forget, as in you could give me a detailed account, blow by blow, so to speak? Well, yes. Oh. Just for the record, so to speak. Mind if I take all of this down? Well, shouldn't I lie on a couch or something? 
Feel free. Would it improve matters? Nah. Tell me about this gate pass. Gate pass? Sorry, did I say gate pass? Uh, tell me about this ghost. Oh, it was horrible. There it stood, all swirling and all spectral, a veritable vision straight out of the dungeon dimensions. It burst straight out of the doorway. I've got a weak heart, I have. I fainted clean away. Ah, fainted without seeing anything? Like the activities of this ghost, for instance? No, nothing. Well, I saw nothing except it reached below my jewel box, get the letter opener from the secret compartment beneath, then open the letter I'd hidden under the mattress, read the note inside, and use the combination in the note to open up the safe. But apart from that, you remember nothing? That's right. When I came to, my city pass was gone. Actually, that's probably the best way of handling this city. Yeah! Wugga wugga! Oh no, it's bursting open! Your face! Your face of molten gold! Ah! Don't make eye contact or you've got a friend for life. God bless you, pal! My mate! My old... old what's his name? Eh! Hey, it's you and me against the world, pal. I love to drink with what's his name, cause what's his name's my mate. What a heavily injured and strangely shifty individual. Hello. 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 Oh yes. That's it, is it? That's the way you greet the greatest hero of our age, the one, the only, the invincible. You what? I'm important, me. I can't just go around answering any old greeting, you know. Well, how would you prefer I greet you then? Well, shoving a pint in me hand would be nice. I'm Flea Bart the Incredible. Greatest thief in the multiverse. I've survived everything. I fought the ant god of quacks and he doesn't even exist. And I survived the valley of the scantily clad, amazingly well hairstyled Amazon women. I've even escaped from the Temple of Ofla, from which no other man has returned in fewer than three pieces. I don't believe a word of this. Huh? Huh? You dare to doubt the greatest hero of our age? I'm known all up and down the river, I am. The river? Yeah. The river Ank? Isn't that a little dangerous? You have to watch out for all the goiters and the yours. Yours? What's yours? Mine's another pint, thanks. Then there was the time I blah, boast blah, blah. Barky, a drink. Hmm. About those Amazon women. And one hand had gone given a month going a succulent month a rounded month a meringue a hot custard bath. Wild slithering clawing of my And then we had some tea. Matches. Actually, I thought all wizards were supposed to blow smoke rings or something. I really must consult that script sometime. Oi! Those are complimentary, those are. So why can't I take one? Well, you have to compliment the bar on its drinks first. Oh, I haven't had anything to drink. That's all right. What are you having? Excuse me. <coughs> ow! Ow! What was that for? Sorry. I think maybe you say I won't fight. Well, I bloody well didn't. That's the trouble with you people. You always think might makes right. <coughs> oh, sorry. We think you say fight again. Yes, yes. This is getting to be fairly typical, isn't it? Thank you. I'm just going to stand over there. Don't choke horribly to death on your beers or anything. Ah. Oh. 
You'll be this bar's resident psychotic maniacs then. Yeah, it's manic barbarian gut squishes. We here to squish some guts. Maybe we squish your guts if you want. Just a little. Just for fun. Ho, oh, oh, ho, you want fight? Uh, no. Uh, no, 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 no need to trouble. I think maybe we kill him a little bit. Then drink some beer and finish him later. Later is no good. Want fight now. If we ask him nice, maybe he put glass upside down on bar and ask for his guts to be squished? You want maybe to have us squish your guts? No, no, look, actually I'm pretty much booked up at the moment. Still, uh, we'll see what we can do for you later, okay? Ah, and you gentlemen are... The Hublanders are being... Yeah, Hublanders. You maybe want to fight? What? No, 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 I don't want to fight. Not with anyone who oils his nipples, anyway. Uh, why'd you ask? Is very dull city. We won't be back. Yeah, it's too quiet. Last night we kill a little here and a little there, just indoors. I think maybe you kill twice in street too. Yeah, I kill someone in street. Only not much. Then we get bored and go out looking for a proper fight. You want fight? No, no, we have in fact been over this material before. Maybe we get fight here later when crowd get drunk. Yeah, you want us? Just turn your glass over. We pulverize your skull and squish your guts. Yeah, look, um, I'll just make a note of that. Excuse me, I think I have an astonishingly urgent need to be elsewhere. What are you two lummoxes doing here? Get out of my way. I think maybe he talked to us. Yeah, to us he speak. What we do with him? I say we take him. We crush him between our biceps and we squish out his brains like icing from a tube. This one is no good for a fight, maybe. He wears a dress. Just hurt him a little. We get proper fight later. Oh, I'll catch you later then. Nope! I can't shift it! Small and strangely vulnerable. I sense a tragedy in the offing. Oh, 
Hello again. Again? What do you mean, again? Oh, that's right. Sorry, I forgot. Eh? Oh! Is this some... a normal crowd? Uh, well, yes, I suppose so. Oh. Why? Everyone looks so... so healthy. It's the beer. Gives you body. Look, do you have any matches here? No, we just run out. Hey, that reminds me. I must order some more. Barkeep, a drink. What'll it be? Mine's a sarsaparilla. What? Um, oh, hell. I mean, b b Britley's extremely peculiar. Yeah, that's the one. The vilest, most agonizing beer ever created by the human mind. Uh, a beer no sane man would ever attempt to try. A, a beer so deadly that rabid dogs would rather tear their own heads off rather than drink it. Oh, hell, look. Can't I just have a glass of water? What? Water from the Ank River? Yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed. Well, I'll catch you later then. That doesn't work. Good wood, this. Good wood, this. Hmm. I'm Flea Bart the Incredible. Greatest thief in the multiverse. Really? And I have braved the temple of the... Shut up! I've heard it all before. What? Really? Yes, that and the Amazon women. Amazon women? Yes, the one where you blah 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 blah, succulent blah blah blah, rounded blah 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 blah, meringue blah blah blah, hot custard blah 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 blah, wild slithering blah 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 blah, clawing at your blah 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 blah, and then you add some tea. Uh, yeah, sure. I remember that one. Some adventure, eh? Look, look here, Lotus Watts is name with the pointy top. A pencil. Aye, a pencil dressed up like a wizard. Now that's progress for you. Who are you? What do you want? Nothing. Look, I've just come in here for a quiet drink. I mean, it's not like I'm asking for any trouble. Why don't you all just leave me alone? Just stay away from me or there'll be trouble. Trouble? No, this is it. Trouble's coming. Such as? Oh, terrible, awful, painful trouble. I'm the toughest bar fighter in town. Really? Yes, so just don't try anything. I could, I could. Mm? Chinese burns can infect, you know. You could be crippled for life. Look, my name is Rincewind. I'm just a wizard. I'm not here to beat you up. No. Oh, well, I'm Horton Shortley, barbarian at law. You look like an accountant. No, I'm not. I'm a horrendously psychotic adventurer. Oh, and I'm not the type of weedy little guy who gets pushed around in bars. Mm, don't assume that just because I'm frightened of the noise of cornflakes that I might not be a serial killer. Don't think just because I like cats that I'm some kind of wimpish... Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you're not, but I really must go now. That doesn't work. He's really managing that drink, isn't he? That doesn't work. He's really managing that drink, isn't he? Excuse me! <laughs> ow! Ow! What was that for? Sorry. I think maybe you say, I want fight. Well, I bloody well didn't. That's the trouble with you people. You always think might makes right. <laughs> oh, sorry. We think you say fight again. Yes, yes. This is getting to be fairly typical, isn't it? Thank you. I'm just going to stand over there. Don't choke horribly to death on your beers or anything. Ah, oh, you'll be this bar's resident psychotic maniacs thing. Yeah, it's maybe we squish your guts if you... Just a little. Just for fun. You won't fight? Uh, I think maybe we kill him a little bit. Later is no good. If we ask him nice, me... You want maybe to have us squish your gut? No, no, look, actually I'm pretty... Still, um... Uh... We'll see what we can do for you later, okay? Well, I'll catch you later then.
doesn't work. What a lovely picture of the top three place cats in the annual Ankh-Morpork Cat Show. Mm, why, so it is, and worthy of considerable contemplation. doesn't work. Oi! Heel! Heel! Down! I'm sorry, he normally never does this. That doesn't work. I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. What's this then? Prunes, finest quality, extra dark old bowel buster. Yuck. That doesn't work. Yuck. I do hate prunes. Those are complimentary, those are. So why can't I take... Well, you have to compliment the bar on its drinks first. But I haven't had anything to drink. That's all right. What are you having? Would it be the teensiest bit worth my while asking for some? Highly likely, sir. Well, could I have a glass of counterwise wine, then? Hang on, sir. I'll just have a look. <clears throat> yes? Sorry, sir. Just increasing the dramatic tension. 
careful with your drink, it's a wee bit strong. Strong? I didn't feel a thing. It's counterwise wine. It's grown from a grape that grows backwards in time. It affects you before you drink it. You must have had some mother of a hangover last night. Funny, I don't remember anything about last night. Oh, that bad was it? Counterwise wine is made from grapes belonging to that class of flora, reannuals, that grow only in excessively high magic fields. Normal plants grow after the seeds have been planted. With reannuals, it's the other way around. Although reannual wine causes inebriation in the normal way, the ensuing hangover is thrust backwards in time. Hence the saying, have a hair of the dog that is going to bite you. That doesn't work. Illumination? How marvellous! We have all the comforts of home. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Prentice's luncheon seems to be coming on rather well. Greetings! I am the mighty wizard Rincewind. A wizard? A real wizard? Uh, yeah. And don't you forget it. Not impressed. You can't go in. Look, haven't you two got anything you'd rather be doing? Well, 
Yes. I suppose I could go home and, and arrange some flowers and that. I could go see that psychiatrist bloke. What do you want to go and see him for? No. I told the captain I thought my wife was beautiful, and he gave me a chit to go and see the psychiatrist. Could I just ask? Go away. So which one of you has the ugly wife? No, we're not falling for that again, you know. Yeah. Our friendship is based on deep mutual respect. Really? Well, up to a point. Are you going to let me in? No. Well, I'll just move along then, shall I? Fine. Dragon detector, sir. Well, excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. The art of signposting is apparently long, long dead. That doesn't work. No ghosts! No ghosts! Relax, son. I'm a wizard. Let me buy you a drink. So, um... What's all this about ghosts, then, old son? In my room! A vile creature from the nethermost depths! It took me gate pass, and then it just left! Oh, I'll never forget the horror! Gate pass? Hmm. You said you'll never forget, as in you could give me a detailed account, blow by blow, so to speak? Well, yes! Oh, just for the record, so to speak. Mind if I take all of this down? Well, shouldn't I lie on a couch or something? Feel free. Will it improve matters? Nah. Tell me about this gate pass. Gate pass? Sorry, did I say gate pass? Uh, tell me about this ghost. Oh, it was horrible. There it stood, all swirling and all spectral. A veritable vision straight out of the dungeon dimensions. It burst straight out of the doorway. I've got a weak heart, I have. I fainted clean away. Ah. Oh. Fainted without seeing anything? Like the activities of this ghost, for instance? No, nothing. Well, I saw nothing, except it reached below my jewel box, get the letter opener from the secret compartment beneath, then open the letter I'd hidden under the mattress, read the note inside, and use the combination in the note to open up the safe. But, apart from that, you remember nothing? That's right. When I came to, my city pass was gone. Not only doors, but windows too. Wonders will never cease.
Illumination? How marvellous! We have all the comforts of home. That doesn't work. Yes, drinks, tables, it's a bar, all right. Thank heavens I took that course in object recognition. That doesn't work. Hmm, bit dusty. Smells a bit funny, this bed. A jewellery box. I wonder if it plays a tune. of a safe. Smells a bit funny, this bed. Quaking little wretch, isn't he? Oh! Oh, let's not be silly. The old letter opener in the secret compartment in the box trick. What's this for then? Undercover correspondence? Aha! Uh -huh. This looks like the combination to a safe. Safe? Not for long, matey. Good, good, I'm sure I'll figure out what this is for. That doesn't work. A picture of a safe? The old letter opener in the secret compartment in the box trick. What's this for then? Undercover correspondence? Aha! Uh -huh. This looks like the combination to a safe. Safe? Not for long, matey. Good, good, I'm sure I'll figure out what this is for.
That doesn't work. No ghosts! No ghosts! Relax, son. I'm a wizard. Let me buy a drink. So, um... What's all this about ghosts, then, old son? In my room! A vile creature from the nethermost depths! It took me gate pass, and then it just left! Oh, I'll never forget the horror! Gate pass? Hmm. You said you'll never forget, as in you could give me a detailed account, blow by blow, so to speak? Well, yes! Oh, just for the record, so to speak. Mind if I take all of this down? Well, shouldn't I lie on a couch or something? Feel free. Would it improve matters? Nah. Tell me about this gate pass. Gate pass? Sorry, did I say gate pass? Uh, tell me about this ghost. Oh, it was horrible. There it stood, all swirling and all spectral. A veritable vision straight out of the dungeon dimensions. It burst straight out of the doorway. I've got a weak heart, I have. I fainted clean away. Ah. Fainted without seeing anything? Like the activities of this ghost, for instance? No, nothing. Well, I saw nothing, except it reached below my jewel box, get the letter opener from the secret compartment beneath, then open the letter I'd hidden under the mattress, read the note inside, and use the combination in the note to open up the safe. But apart from that, you remember nothing? That's right. When I came to, my city pass was gone. Tell me about this hammer thing. Did your ghost have a hammer? Yes, yes, so he did. Um, what exactly did he do with it? He cracked open the jewellery box. Cracked it open? I thought... Why? Well, my gate pass was inside, wasn't it?
That doesn't work. That doesn't work. The old letter opener in the secret compartment in the box trick. What's this for then? Undercover correspondence? Aha! Uh -huh. This looks like the combination to a safe. Safe? Not for long, matey. <coughs> this should get me out past those goons who guard the city gate. Characteristic smell of decomposed footwear. This must be the route back to town. Looks like I was name. No, no, I can't seem to do that. I wish I could think of a wish. That 
doesn't work. A pot full of water. I hope it's not river water. I'd hate to melt the pot. Now can't we discuss this? You know, I, I've always wondered, just why are you crossing the road? Look, you can't frighten me. Bad boy. That doesn't work. It's time I sang about my favourite things. <laughs> Perhaps it's time I sang about my favourite things. That doesn't work. Offler's giblets. It's full of some sort of vile, yellow, blasphemous, five-sided... Oh, no, wait a minute. It's just custard. Well, more sort of quartz than crystal. And, well, more sort of lumpen than a ball. Still, does the trick, I suppose. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Now there's something you don't see every day, a purple stuffed donkey kind of thing, me. Ah! It's a doll of the jolly old Hogfather. That doesn't work. Offler's giblets. It's full of some sort of vile, yellow, blasphemous, five-sided... Ooh, no, wait a minute. It's just custard.
Outdoor plumbing, what will they think of next? That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Ah, that's better. Ah, that's better. That doesn't work. Care to step outside and shut the door behind you? Ah, that's better. Yes, well, it's a forbidding door, all right. That 
doesn't work. Good grief! What in Offler's name is that dreadful smell? That doesn't work. No! That doesn't work. What's this then? Prove that you're a man, see Sally at the House of Negotiable Affection and ask for a special. You know, the tone of this place is really going downhill. And it started at the bottom in the first place. I need the sh Oh, so that's where I slept it off. I'd stuff this counterwise wine. For its sake, I do hope that's not river water. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't... That doesn't work. That doesn't... Thank you. 
A rain barrel! Gad, there's no expense spared on this set! Ah, that's better. Hist! Hail, brother door opener. Door keeper! Opener, keeper, what's it matter? Well, I don't have to open it to just anybody who turns up. You could be a spy. A spy? Well, it's a possibility. You could be a very clever spy wearing a very effective disguise. Open the blasted door. What's the password? All right. Beam closer. It's spoons. Swordfish. Right? No. What? You didn't say Simon says. Open the door or I'll kill you. Da, ah, the other password. Hello? Hail! Yes, hail, brother doorkeeper. Right, give me the password and I'll let you in. Oh, all right. Ah. Let's see now. It's... Blah, 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 spoons, blah, 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 swordfish, blah, blah, blah. Right? No. Hey! You didn't say Simon Says. Oh. Simon Says. Okay. Welcome, or fellow brother of the elucidated brethren of the sword. Hail, brothers! Hail! 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 Yay, right! Hail! Once again, we elucidated brethren of the sword are met. Once again, we shall weave the webs of power. As we know now that it is our destiny to rule this city. Ooh, chucky, chucky, chucky! Chucky, chucky! Hail! Yes! Once I thought it was my destiny to build a papier mache dinosaur in my bedroom. And then I thought it was my destiny to win the men's overland saxophone championships. But now I know, I finally know, that it is my destiny to rule Ankh-Morpork. Here, what about us then? A marine company with these, my loyal lack of, um, loyal comrades. A new age shall dawn, my friends. Hail! An age of power and majesty. Hail! An age of freedom without indoor plumbing and the job losses it entails. Hail! A world where a man can carry out his legitimate wealth redistribution business without worrying about quotas. Hail! Where cheap replastering will be outlawed in favour of major structural reinforcement. Yay! A place where low mackerel sales will be a thing of the past. And compulsory smoke through cleanliness will be rigorously enforced. Hail! Brother Brigwit, Brother Broom, bring the tomb. Now, for the spell of power, brother, brother, uh, pencil head. Oh, dark spirits of the universe, with this bowl, we do consecrate and, and, and so forth. Except now, these sacrifices, as we consign the potion to the flames, bring us the power of the dragon. Dragon, good, 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 dragon, 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 dragon,
Dragon! 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 Is he all right? Uh, malaria. Malaria. He's got a poison. Just ignore him. Prob he probably likes it there. I'm sure he doesn't. Well, Look, um, I don't... Oh, uh, uh, bitten by a mosquito. Happened on a treasure hunt, I reckon. Yep. Free dragon victim disposal service. Reasonable rates. Contact Prendergast Path Gritting Emporium. Something around here smells like cinnamon dipped toad balls. Right here, sir. Sugar donuts. Normally a penny a piece, but for you, tuppence a bag. I shouldn't do this, mind you. I'm cutting my own throat. Oh, all right. Just give me some donuts. Yeah. Something around here smells like cinnamon dipped toad balls. Right here, sir. Sugar donuts. Normally a penny a piece, but for you, tuppence a bag. I shouldn't do this, mind you. I'm cutting my own throat. Is that all you're selling? Oh, no, sir. This week, we have a special in home security items for making you feel safe like in these times of trouble. Security? And what might this entail? Patent dragon traps, sir. Guaranteed to liquidate any draconic intruders to your home. Otherwise, as I have said, you get your money back. What? Those are mouse traps. They're for catching very small dragons, sir. I'm letting them go half price. I'm cutting my own throat. No, thank you. Dear God! These donuts look heavy as lead. That's quality you can see there, sir. Treacle dough, lovingly dusted with sugar, cinnamon and honey. Recommended by the Ankh Morpork Dental Guild. They're all spongy. Did you remember to actually bake them? Uh, um, do-it-yourself donuts, sir. All the pleasure of bakery in the comfort of your own home. A special dragon conflagration sale. Oh, shut up. Tell you what, one penny a bag. I'm cutting my own throat. I don't have to take that kind of attitude, you know. You what? It's an ancient profession, this is. 
revered in other cultures. Mostly in bacterial cultures, perhaps. Honestly, have you ever thought what the world would be like without effluent management technicians? It's time we had a greater say in government, mate. It's always seemed to me that you have a strong involvement with government in any case. Practically proverbial. Ah, the old sword in the... the... Honey bucket. Thank you. The old sword in the dunny bucket trick. That doesn't work. A gold tooth! Interesting. A gold tooth! Interesting. That doesn't work. Still going strong, then? I don't have to take that kind of attitude, you know. You what? It's an ancient profession, this is. Revered in other cultures. Mostly in bacterial cultures, perhaps. Honestly, have you ever thought it's time... It's always seemed to me that you are... Ah, the old sword in the... The... Honey bucket. Thank you. The old sword in the dunny bucket trick. What was the handshake you did? What handshake? The one you just did then. I never. Excuse me, young man, but you did. I saw you. Like that. Like what? The handshake. You did it again. Did not. Did too. Well, look, let's say, just as for instance, that I did know about a secret handshake. Now, if I told you, it would no longer be a secret, would it? That's a double negative. What? Wouldn't no longer. It's a double negative. So? So, if by telling me it wouldn't not be secret, then by telling me the opposite must be true. Um, uh, yes. So, by telling me, it would be a secret. So, you see, it's perfectly safe to show me how it's done. Look, I think we might need to revert to some sort of proof of your last statement. The logic seems highly suspect. And? Well, if you could go over this double negative thing step by step, maybe on paper like... You're a street urchin. Starfish. A street starfish, yes. You can't tell me that being a lovable fantasy street stereotype in any way prepares you for understanding the vagaries of symbolic logic. Well, if you could just prove it by means of a Venn diagram or an if-then-else statement... Can you read? Ah. You've put your finger on a problem area. So just show me the handshake. How do you do it? Couldn't tell you, Gav. Not just like that. Not without an initiation, like. You can only learn the secret if you prove that you're a man. Shall I report to a doctor? Well, he'd only know the physical. What? You know, sir, the real. The substantial. What I originally meant, sir, was for you to prove an innate yet unseeable quality of manhood. Being a stereotype classification of... Now look, we're verging on that philosophical proofing problem again, aren't we? Look, Gav, just go and prove that you're a man. Then you'll be good enough to earn the secret handshake. Well, busy day? No, no, I'm actually toning the butchery and co- I've had a bit- hmm? Well, particularly, it's so hard- Yes, yes, I, I quite see what you mean. What you probably want is some sort of receipt system. You know, have them file a form with you declaring lustful intent. You mean- Yeah, yeah, well, you could match retaliation. I mean, mere your actual wolf and your pet on the backside might- And the spleen? Well- It's just I'm getting good at those. And? Well, I think it varies according to personal need. Anyway, what do you think? Will it all sound thank you that's ever so helpful? Will you shut up and sit down? Now, why is she dressed as a milkmaid? No, no, I can't seem to do that. <laughs> ibble, ibble, egg, egg. I'm sorry? The eyes, the eyes, the awful knowing eyes. What's happened to you? I couldn't take it. Thumping, not thumping. My brain's gone potty. Ah! This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Next! Ah, 
I never kiss of repressed neuromogrophosis. No, no, I just forgot to shave. So? Oh, well, maybe another time. Hmm? So, Mr. Wizard, just uh, sit down and examine these ink plots. Uh, tell me uh, what you think uh, this first picture represents. Ah, well, um, it's a bit ugly. A dead birdie? Mr. Dinosaur's bum? Oh, an emperor penguin fed it on a pork cue. Oh, you can keep that one. No, no, it's not hard. Ah, so. And uh, how about this one? Got grief. Hey? Is that you with a mask on? What? <laughs> Wrong picture. <laughs> And what about this one? Yeah, it's... it's... it's an elephant's backside. Really? Reminds me of a patient they once had. You can keep that one. No, no extra charge. Anyway, how long have you had this fixation that you are a pencil? Who told you about that? Oh, come now. Listen, it's only a hat. Just a hat. It hasn't even got any lead in it. <laughs> a very bad case. A pencil case, huh? <laughs> Perhaps I'd better see you again on Tuesday. Well, I'll just move along then, shall I? Fine. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Well, I suppose neither of you wants to see... That's right. Oh, wait a minute. See what? Well, I just wondered what you gentlemen might make out of this. It's a chocolate blancmange. No. No, it's... It's oddly familiar, though. Uh, not, um... Not a hippo, is it? Hmm? Uh, no, 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 not a hippo. Uh, a lard pudding? Suet? I know. It's your wife. My wife is not fat. <laughs> Hello, and you are? Well. I was the tax collector, then some git had me locked up in the stocks, and now I've lost my job. Oh, they dared to put me in the stocks. Peasants. I'll get them. All of them. Laugh at me, will they? I'll pull their allowable deductions out with my bare hands. Um... Hey, don't I know you? Gosh, is that the time? I'm sure I've seen you somewhere before. Have you ever been to the Duchess of Froomesburg's Ball? No. Well, we can't have met there, then. Oh. Right you are. Still here? That's the trouble with a feudal system, you see. Queuing means very little in the face of a stratified social structure. It's all a matter of social seniority. Seniority? Yeah. Next time, read the fine print of the social contract. That's what I say. I see your point. Where's the thief? I think he went to the Shades. It's a thief thing. Hey there, big boy. What's this line in aid of? Vending permits. You need one to sell wares in the city square. Really? Yep. So how'd a nice boy like you get into a mess like this? Hmm. I think I might just go stand over there for a while. Oh, the hat suits you, dearie. Dearie? Oh, dear. So, where have you been all of my life, love? Not born for most of it. Oh, God. Hello? Mro, it's a visitor, isn't it, Chucky? <laughs> a visitor? Mro, yes, it is. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Bottle of gear, bottle of gear! Mr. Pencil then says hello! <laughs> Mro, hello! <laughs> he, he said hello to us, Chucky. Mro, oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. 
Hasn't anyone anything to complain about except this dragon? Our data management system simply can't manage the input overflow. Data management system? Sounds so much better than dungeon, don't you think? The information retrieval people came up with that one. Has rather a nice sort of ring to it. Ah, oh, well, if, uh, if... Unverifiable flaming objects. Thank you. If this, um, phenomena is actually causing real verifiable trouble, shouldn't we just... Yes? Well, just do something about it, please? It isn't as simple as all that, you see. If I'm putting city funding into a phenomena removal program, there has to be a way to show a turnaround in profit next fiscal year. It's just not possible, you see. The only alternative to reassess our policy on mass eating, burnings and devourings, convert it into a sort of city asset. No easy thing, I can tell you. Um, yes. I mean, if only we could make a positive earning out of the thing. Impose a P-A-Y-E tax or something. P-A-Y-E? Pay as you eat. Yes. On the other hand, since the uh, phenomena is unverifiable... Quite. Well, then it might not be happening at all. We could all just ignore it, and then it must just go away. Stop believing in it sort of thing. Good lad. Keep that up and we'll have this thing beaten in no time. Let's keep track of that. Last time I saw a ring as big as that, there were druids dancing round it. That doesn't work. Ah, the jumbo size. Love those lampwicks. Eye makeup, rouge, hair cream, all seems a bit dandified if you ask me. That doesn't work. This donut is more than just a little bit sticky. A nice strong rubber belt that. So, how's business? A few cutbacks. We're trimming down our operation. Things are getting hairy. It's just me, really. I can't concentrate. I can't stop dreaming about my little milkmaid. Hmm. What if I were to arrange for you to meet her? Who? Her? The apple of me eye? The most perfect instrument of the goddess of love? That's the one. You're on! I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time.
Will you shut up and sit down? Now, why is she dressed as a milkmaid? Hello again. Uh, hello. Have you seen him? Yes, well, probably. Oh, you don't seem very sure. What does he look like? Um, well, he was tallish, shortish, with fairish, dark hair and nothing on his face. Thing? You know. A beard? Yes. Oh, yuck. He'd never wear a beard. Only a complete idiot would wear a beard. Madam, I believe you are insane. Well, I have to find him. It's all part of the cure. Now that you mention it, I think I may have seen him. Look, uh, give me a note so I can arrange for him to meet you. It's from here! Oh, well, oh, yeah, the very, oh, very nice. Oh, oh, she's a naughty one. Oh, 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 she's beautiful. Oh, I don't know how she does it. Oh, I'm so in love. Oh, 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 her words. Her words are like molten lava trickling down my chest. Oh, she's a lovely woman. Quick, mind the shop for me, will you? Right, you are, then. That doesn't work. A gold tooth. I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. Um, I'd rather not. Wizards and flames don't go together. Still looks like dry grass to me. Perhaps it's time I sang about my favourite things.
that that doesn't work Just what the doctor ordered, a clay pot filled with chunky custard. Actually, some of these herbs seem to be looking back. That doesn't work. Hmm? Oh, nothing. No. What? What were you going to say? Well, this is picture. What do you boys think of it? Oh, very original that. It's a dog's bum with a hat on. No, mate. Look, it's your wife. My wife is not ugly. Chuck is dirty. Chucky, one bath! One bath! Practical criticism always speaks more loudly than words. Which is why this is no surprise. The couldn't be better. Chucky power! The power of class! Chucky power! Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Mr. I was born for world domination, Chucky! Mr. Now they'll have to laugh! Mr. Comedy will be compulsory! Spontaneous hilarity! Will be timetabled three times today! Everyone will laugh until they drop! A golden age, Chucky! A golden age! Oh, Chucky, Chucky! Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Ah! 
that doesn't work. Nice trowel. What trowel? I don't own any trowels. Yes, you do. You were using one just then. Liar. I saw you. Look, if I had a trowel, which is not to in any way imply that I actually do, it would be a tool of trade now, wouldn't it? I couldn't just let anybody mess around with it. What if that someone weren't just anybody, but someone pretty special in an unusual or useful kind of way? What? Like a colleague? Oh, actually I was thinking of a wizard. Really? Well, it would still have to be a pretty special kind of wizard. Is there much call for it round here then? Eh? Walls. There's a fair few of them about. You'd be surprised. Is it a worthwhile job? Well, yes. If there was more pay and less breeze. Breeze? Right up the old dairy air, friend. Me drawers have worn through. Well, that's got nothing to do with being a poorly paid mason, has it? If the pay was better, I could afford new underwear. Give us the trowel, then! No! Don't get horribly burned to death by any monsters or anything. I do so enjoy these colourful little suburbs, don't you? That doesn't work. Hmm. A mural. <laughs> What's that scorched sort of smell? That does that doesn't work. I think there's a moral in this somewhere. Always fumigate your gutters, probably. Ah, yes. Now, don't tell me. She must be some sort of colourful local hostess. Nope! I can't shift it. What's this, then? House of Negotiable Affection? Isn't that nice? Aha! A characteristic hovel. How colourful. That doesn't work. Nice trowel. What trowel? I don't own any trowels. Yes, you do. 
You were using one just then. Liar. I saw you. Look, if I had a trowel, which is not to in any way imply that I actually do, it would be a tool of trade now, wouldn't it? I couldn't just let anybody mess around with it. What if that someone weren't just anybody, but someone pretty special in an unusual or useful kind of way? What? Like a colleague? Oh, actually I was thinking of a wizard. Really? Well, it would still have to be a pretty special kind of wizard. Is there much call for it round here then? Eh? Walls. There's a fair few of them about. You'd be surprised. Is it a worthwhile job? Well, yes. If there was more pay and less breeze. Breeze? Right up the old dairy air, friend. Me drawers have worn through. Well, that's got nothing to do with being a poorly paid mason, has it? If the pay was better, I could afford new underwear. Give us the trowel, then! No! Don't get horribly burned to death by any monsters or anything. I do so enjoy these colourful little suburbs, don't you? That doesn't work. Hmm. A mural. <laughs> What's that scorch sort of smell? That does that doesn't work. I think there's a moral in this somewhere. Always fumigate your gutters, probably. Ah, yes. Now, don't tell me. She must be some sort of colourful local hostess. Nope! I can't shift it. What's this, then? House of Negotiable Affection? Isn't that nice? Aha! A characteristic hovel. How colourful. That doesn't work.
you know where I might find Big Sally? Not me. But, 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 but you're a... Uh... Big-hearted, basically decent woman trying to do the best she can in an oppressively patriarchal, chauvinist, male-dominated society that abstracts female advancement at every turn? I knew you were one of those as soon as I saw you. Oh, yes. You're one of those. It's a fantasy tradition. You're supposed to wander the streets, bent double, under the weight of your heart of gold, and keeping your ear to the ground to pick up information. Then blokes like me can come along, and you pass along the gossip. I hate to think what had happened to anyone in this town who hang around with their ear to the ground. You want a street starfish, mister. I wonder if you can help me. I'm trying to find someone special. Well, I'm special. <laughs> I've got a heart of gold. Really? What exactly is it you ladies, um, do? Oh, you know, sing songs, make exquisite cups of tea, generally listen to men talk, walk up and down their spines in wooden shoes, act decorous at all times, just like them foreign ladies on the counterweight continent. Geishas! Well, I'm not surprised you've got a cold. Running around in a dress like that? It's just that I thought that you, um... Oh, you did, did you? Superficial judgments based on preconceived stereotypes, eh? Just because we're independent ladies making our own way in the world. And you standing there with a dress on, too. I was told this might be Big Sally's address. Can't imagine why that'd interest you, big boy. Big boy? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I should have laughed. What? Well, why? Well, you are wearing a dress. Look, it's not a dress, it's a wizard's robe. It looks like a dress. Well, it isn't. It's the costume of a very ancient and revered order of aesthetes. You run a lot, do you? You'd be amazed. Mind you, that's not surprising, going round this town wearing a dress. Madam, I don't like your inference. As a wizard, I am chaste. Walking round in a dress, I'm not surprised. If I was you, I'd hate to be caught. Can you at least tell me where to find Big Sally? Oh, sure, big boy. <laughs> big boy, <laughs> it cracks me up. Well? Well, what? Where is she? Oh, I'm Big Sally. You should have said. I've been told to come and ask you for one of your specials. Uh, a special? Um, yeah, that's right. And don't think I'm looking forward to it. All right, you go and get the milk, the egg and the flour, and I'll go and look for a really big bowl. Why is it I feel somewhat puzzled about that reply? I already have one. Thank you. 
Not be silly. Again? Again? What do you mean again? Oh, that's right. Eh? Oh, hello. Again? What? Oh, that's right. Sorry, I forgot. Eh? Well, I'll catch you later then. Clatchian cactus juice with something wriggling inside. Hmm. Old Uncle Benjamin. Old Uncle Benjamin's patent stain remover. Counter wires wine.
doesn't work. It's dark out here. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Handy for holding the coconuts up out of reach and thus providing me with yet another little problem to solve. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. I knew this game would drive me over it eventually. I already have one of those. That doesn't work. sloshing around inside. That doesn't work. I can hear some oil sloshing around inside. That doesn't work. Should make a wicked bang. Should make a wicked bang. Should make a wicked bang. I can hear some oil sloshing around inside.
that doesn't work. That doesn't... That doesn't work. A drumstick might come in handy. Damn me if I can think how, though. That doesn't work. I was told this might be Big Sally's address. Can't imagine why that would interest you, big boy. Big boy. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> what? Well, why? Look, it's not... It looks like it. A... Well, it isn't. It's the costume of a... You run a lot. You'd be a man. Mind you, that... Madam, I don't like your... Walking man. Can you at least... Oh, sure, big boy. <laughs> big boy? <laughs> it cracks me up. Well? Well, what? Where is she? Oh, I'm Big Sally. You should have said... I've been told to come and ask you for one of your specials. Uh, a special? Um, yeah, that's right. And don't think I'm looking forward to it. All right, you go and get the milk, the egg and the flour, and I'll go and look for a really big bowl. Why is it I feel somewhat puzzled about that reply?
grief! Now look, I don't know about this. What is that? Hmm, my word. Mm. It's a bowl of custard. Didn't you like it? A bowl of custard? That's your special, making custard? Why not? I can't imagine what assumptions you've been making. I'm a woman of many parts. My old granny used to say that good kissing only lasts five minutes, but good cookery lasts for years. Many's the man who slips in here for a bowl of custard he can't get at home. Will you stop smirking like that? Hey, it's great. Mm. 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 Better than my granny's. And now I'm going to have a bath. It's messy work making good custard. The best thing about being a wizard is that you're not allowed any, uh, you know, but you can have as much custard as you like. These are either patent elephant cosies or a pair of bloomers. I've forgotten which. Yeah, wugga wugga. Oh no, it's bursting open. Your face, your face of molten gold.
That doesn't work. I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. Poor fellow. Looks like he needs some root canal work done. doesn't work. The size of it must be... Oh, let's not be silly. The smell is terrible, but the fish don't seem to mind. with a golden belt buckle. I don't care what the user manual says, I'm not doing it. What's this then? For a nice time, eat well, drink happily and find an amusing and rewarding occupation on a sunny day.
sturdy belt, that, and a lovely gold buckle. Ah, oh, yes. Well, I'll leave you to it, then. I can't shift it. No, nope. I can't shift it. That doesn't work. A belt with a golden belt buckle. The die is running, turning my skin all blue! That doesn't work. That... a wet, dripping monk. I wonder if I can muster some crocodile tears.
Um, I'd rather not. Wizards and flames don't go together. Excellent. You're doing quite well for a soft skin. Thanks. Well, back to work. Excellent. You're doing quite well for a soft skin. Thanks. Well, back to work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Excellent. You're doing quite well for a soft skin. Thanks. Well, back to work. Actually, I think this might technically be a ball of twine. All right, it's a small difference in nomenclature, but it might be important to somebody someday. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Of course it's me. Who are you expecting? Death? That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. What was that handshake? What handshake? The one you just did then. I never. Excuse me, young man, but you did. I saw you. Like that. Like what? The handshake. You did it again. Did not. Did too. Well, look, let's say, just as for instance, that I did know about a secret handshake. Now, if I told you it would no longer be a secret, would it? That's a double negative. What? Wouldn't no longer. It's a double negative. So? So, if by telling me it wouldn't not be secret, then by telling me the opposite must be true. Um, yes. So, by telling me, it would be a secret. So, you see, it's perfectly safe to show me how it's done. Look, I think we might need to revert to some sort of proof of your last statement. The logic seems highly suspect. And? Well, 
if you could go over this double negative thing step by step, maybe on paper like. You're a street urchin. Starfish. A street starfish, yes. You can't tell me that being a lovable fantasy street stereotype in any way prepares you for understanding the vagaries of symbolic logic. Well, if you could just prove it by means of a Venn diagram or an if-then-else statement. Can you read? Ah. You've put your finger on a problem area. So just show me the handshake. How do you do it? Couldn't tell you, Gav. Not just like that. Not without an initiation, like. You can only learn the secret if you prove that you're a man. Shall I report to a doctor? Well, he'd only know the physical. What? You know, sir, the real. The substantial. What I originally meant, sir, was for you to prove an innate yet unseeable quality of manhood, being a stereotype classification of... Now look, we're verging on that philosophical proofing problem again, aren't we? Look, Gav, just go and prove that you're a man. Then you'll be good enough to earn the secret handshake. I'm alive! Now what's this handshake then? It's easy. You do this, then this, then this. Just practice on those three old codgers over there. Heavily padded bra. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Will you shut up and sit down? No, no, I can't seem to do that. No, no, I can't seem to do that. Now, why is she dressed as a milkmaid? Hello again. Uh, hello. Have you seen him? Yes, well, probably. Oh, you don't seem very sure. What does he look like? Um, well, he was tallish, shortish, with fairish, dark hair and nothing on his face. Thing? You know. A beard? Yes. Oh, yuck. He'd never wear a beard. Only a complete idiot would wear a beard. Madam, I believe you are insane. <laughs> Look, is he all right? A malaria. Malaria? He's just ignore him. Probably put it there himself to attract the girls. He probably likes it there. I'm sure he doesn't. Well, he'd complain if he didn't. Look, um, I don't mean to pry, but are you sure your friend's all right? Oh, a a bitten by a mosquito, that's what. Happened on a treasure hunt, I reckon. Yep. Yeah, he'll be better after he's had a nice lie down. That doesn't work. That 
doesn't work. Assassin training track. Well, I suppose they have to be taught somewhere. Just what I wanted. A golden trowel. Excellent. You're doing quite well for a soft skin. Thanks. Well, back to work.
That doesn't work. Aha! A characteristic hovel. How colourful. That doesn't work. Aha! A characteristic hovel. How colourful. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Let's keep track of that. I suppose the deluxe model is the rungs held on with a better grade of string. I suppose the deluxe model is the rungs held on with a better grade of string. I suppose the deluxe model is the rungs held on with a better grade of string. doesn't work. Aha! A car That doesn't work. Well, at least someone's getting some kit round here. Actually, I think this might technically be a ball of twine. All right, it's a small difference in nomenclature, but it might be important to somebody someday. That doesn't work. Aha! A characteristic hovel. How colourful.
that doesn't work. No, no, I can't seem to do that. Excellent. You're doing quite well for a soft skin. Thanks. Well, back to work. Good morning, Jimmy. Fine day for it. For what? Oh, for whatever innocent folk like we can find to do up here on the rooftops. Have you ever fallen down? Oh, yes. Or oh, tons of times. Well, if you don't want to repeat performance, try shutting up. Ah, the day is coming when people like you will have to look up to folk like me. Probably easiest from the ground, then. What? Looking up at you, I mean. Probably easiest when done from the ground. Actually, I, I think I might just get in as little looking up at you right now, in fact. I'll just go down to street level in a quite orderly fashion, then, shall I? That doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Chimneys. Ah, the march of technology is a fine thing. Thank you. 
doesn't work. That doesn't work. That looks a bit hot. Someone should do something about that. doesn't work. That doesn't work. There's something you don't see every day, a purple stuffed donkey kind of thing, I mean. That doesn't work. Strange. Lots of little pictures, and there's little holes in the sides. That doesn't work. Chimneys. Ah, the march of technology is a fine thing. Chimneys. Ah. Thank you. 
doesn't work. That doesn't work. Need light? Oh no thanks, I've already got one. This all takes some effort, you know. I'm putting myself out just for you, when there are thousands of other things I could be doing. Do I see any gratitude? I don't think so. Just stop following me, will you? I hope you realize I'm working my fingers to the bone. That doesn't work. No desire to talk to that person at this time.
Ah, now I have them. Finally, I am free. Good. Well, you'll be off now, I suppose. <laughs> you know, back home to the old dimension. Home comforts, put your tail up and relax. Never. Now it is time to wreak my revenge upon this miserable world. First, I shall deal with the members of the Brotherhood, and then I shall come back for you. Me? But I wasn't even a part of it. You were there? Yes, but... Don't make any plans for the evening. Still looks like dry grass to me. Free Dragon Victim Disposal Service. Reasonable rates. Contact Prendergast Path Gritting Emporium. Nice day for selling your wares. I, uh, I mean your produce. Times are not so great though. The bottom has fallen out of the magic balm and lotion market. Everybody wants those new age fangled thingamies, you know, crystals and the like. I don't know what's happened to the world. Where have all the old values gone? How's the cutest witch in town today? Go on, you're pulling my leg, love, so you are. How could you tell? Then again, there's no harm in hoping, is there? Ooh, give us a kiss, love. Just a little one. <laughs> oh! No thanks, I'll pass. That doesn't work. This has to be the mangiest magic carpet I've ever seen. How's the cutest witch? Go on. How could you tell? Then again, there's no harm in hoping, is there? Ooh, give a eek. Oh, oh, no thanks, I'll pass. That doesn't work. So, you finally got your vending permit. Sure did, dearie. Wound that old patrician round me little what a name, so I did. What interesting and magical items do you have for the weary adventurer? Well, how about this magic carpet? Low mileage, only one owner. A little old lady who took it out once a week for a spin to the market. Look at that decor, all the trimmings. More like all the frayings by the look of it. Come on now, sweetie, do you want it or not? Well, okay then. Stop it! Don't look at me like that! I can't help it, my love. You're such a little sweetie. Oh! Well, I'll catch you later then. How much do you want for your Love Potion Custard recipe book? Sorry, love. I could never part with that. It's my precious, so it is. What's this then? Definitive Tome of Custard Compoundment? 
I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. Well, busy day? No, no, I'm actually toning the butchery and... Hmm? Yeah, what, well, you know, uh, you mean... Yeah, it matched with, I mean, me, your actual... And your... And, well... It's just I'm... And kid... Well, anyway, what just... Well, it all sounds... How much do you want for your love? Sorry, love, I could never part with that. It's my precious, so it is. Will you shut up and sit down? How's the cutest? G How could you tell? Ooh, give us a kiss, love. Just a little one. <laughs> no thanks, I'll pass. I'm sorry, love, I could never part with that. It's my precious, so it is. Stop it. Don't look at me like that. I oh! Well, I'll catch you later then. This magic carpet's got little bugs living in it. That doesn't work. How much do you want for your love? Sorry, love, I could never part with that. It's my precious, so it is. How much do you want for your love potion custard recipe? Sorry, love, I could never part with that. It's my precious, so it is. That doesn't work. They won't let me do it. That doesn't work. Yes, it's a witchy stall, all right. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Nice day for selling your wares. I, uh, I mean, your produce. Times are not so great, though. The bottom has fallen out of the magic balm and lotion market. Everybody wants those new age fangled thingamies, you know, crystals and the like. I don't know what's happened to the world. 
Where have all the old values gone? I'm sorry, love, I could... How much do you want for your love potion custard recipe book? Sorry, love, I could never part with that. It's my precious, so it is. Well, I'll catch you later then. How much do you want for your... Sorry, love. What's this then? Definitive Tome of Custard Compoundment? Yeah, Something around here smells like cinnamon dipped toad balls. Right here's that sugar donuts. Normally a penny a piece, but for you, tuppence a bag. I shouldn't do this, mind you, I'm cutting my own throat. Oh, all right, just give me some donuts. Yeah. Something around here smells like cinnamon dipped toad balls. Right here's that sugar donuts. Normally a penny a piece, but for you, tuppence a bag. I shouldn't do this, mind you, I'm cutting my own throat. Is that all you're selling? Oh, no, sir. This week, we have a special in home security items for making you feel safe like in these times of trouble. Security? And what might this entail? Patent dragon traps, sir. Guaranteed to liquidate any draconic intruders to your home. Otherwise, as I have said, you get your money back. What? Those are mouse traps. They're for catching very small dragons, sir. I'm letting them go half price. I'm cutting my own throat. No, thank you. Dear God, these donuts look heavy as lead. That's quality you can see there, sir. Treacle dough lovingly dusted with sugar, cinnamon and honey. Recommended by the Ankh Morpork Dental Guild. They're all spongy. Did you remember to actually bake them? Uh, um, do it yourself donut, sir. All the pleasure of bakery in the comfort of your own home. A special dragon conflagration sale. Oh, shut up. Tell you what, one penny a bag. I'm cutting my own throat. How much do you want for your lip sup? How's the cutest witch in town today? Go on, you're pulling my leg, love, so you are. How could you tell? Then again, there's no harm in hoping, is there? Ooh, give us a kiss, love. Just a little one. Eek. Oh, oh eh. no thanks, I'll pass. Nice day for selling your wares. Everybody wants those new eggs. I don't know. How much do you want for your love potion custard recipe book? Sorry, love, I could never part with that. It's my precious, so it is. Well, I'll catch you later then. I'm sorry, love, I could never part with that. It's my precious, so it is. I'm sorry, love, I could never part with that. It's my precious, so it is.
Recogli Minto's never failing guide to dragon summonation. That's two no traps, fish. Famine, have you got, uh, nine? Hmm. Well, I accuse Colonel Horseradish in the library with a lead pipe. Um, are you sure we're all playing the same game here? Damn, I've forgotten what I was going to say now. That little idiot over there's ruined my concentration. War? Is he one of yours? Him? No, that's one of Death's. You shouldn't let them run around loose like that, Death. They could breed, and then you'll never get rid of them. Want me to kill him for you? No. No point, really. Death? Have you got Mr. Bun the Baker? Not until his oven explodes next week. Oh, I see what you mean. Thank you. 
Cogliminto's never failing guide to dragon summer nation. That's two no trumps, fish. Famine, have you got, uh, nine? Hmm. Well, I accuse Colonel Horseradish in the library with a lead pipe. Um, are you sure we're all playing the same game here? Damn, I've forgotten what I was going to say now. That little idiot over there's ruined my concentration. War? Is he one of yours? Him? No, that's one of Death's. You shouldn't let them run around loose like that, Death. They could breed, and then you'll never get rid of them. Want me to kill him for you? No. No point, really. Death? Have you got Mr. Bun the Baker? Not until his oven explodes next week. Oh, I see what you mean. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Should make a wicked bang. That doesn't work. What's this then? Nice day for selling your wares. I, uh, I mean your produce. Times are not so great though. 
The bottom has fallen out of the magic balm and lotion market. Everybody wants those new age fangled thingamies, you know, crystals and the like. I don't know what's happened to the world. Where have all the old values gone? How's the cutest witch in town today? Go on, you're pulling my leg, love, so you are. How could you tell? Then again, there's no harm in hoping, is there? Ooh, give us a kiss, love. Just a little one. <laughs> oh, oh, no thanks, I'll pass. How much do you want for your Love Potion Custard recipe book? Sorry, love, I could never part with that. It's my precious, so it is. Stop it! Don't look at me like that! I can't help it, my love. You're such a little sweetie. Oh! Well, I'll catch you later then. How much do you want for your... Sorry, love, I could never part with that. It's my... I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. That doesn't work. How much do you want for your Love Potion Custard recipe book? Sorry, love, I could never part with that. It's my precious, so it is. I'm so I'm so What's this then? How much do you want? Sorry, love, I could never part with that. It's my precious, so it is. How much do you want for your? How's the cute girl? What? How could you then? Oh, no thanks. Oh. Stop! I can't help. Oh. How much? Sorry. How much do you want for? Sorry, love. I could never part with that. It's my precious, so it is. Stop! I can't help it, my love. You're such a little sweetie. Oh! Go on, you're pulling my leg, love, so you are. How could you tell? Then again, there's no harm in hoping, is there? Ooh, give us a kiss, love. Just a little one. <laughs> oh! No thanks, I'll pass.
That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Look, there's that little human with the pencil hat again. War, I thought you were going to kill him. No, death wouldn't let me. Anyway, I thought he was destined to pop off his pointy shoes about eight minutes ago. Circumstances prevented it. Circumstances? What circumstances? It has something to do with butterflies flapping their wings. I don't quite understand it myself. But I do appear to have got 21 and some spare cards. Blast! You've cleaned me out. Let's go kill some butterflies. Opener, keeper, what's it matter? Well, I don't have to open it to just anybody who turns up. You could be a spy. A spy? Well, it's a possibility. You could be a very clever spy wearing a very effective disguise. Open the blasted door. What's the password? All right. Lean closer. It's... Spoons. Swordfish. Right? No. What? You didn't say Simon says. Open the door or I'll kill you. Ah, the other password. <sighs> Hail, brothers! Hail! 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 Yay, right! Hail! Now, once again, we elucidated brethren of the sword are met. Now, once again, we shall weave the webs of power. Now, if we know now that it is our destiny to rule this city. Ooh, 
Chucky, 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 Chucky. Hail! Yes. Once I thought it was my destiny to build a papier mache dinosaur in my bedroom. And then I thought it was my destiny to win the men's overland saxophone championships. But now I know, I finally know that it is my destiny to rule Ankh Morpork. Here, what about us then? A marine company with these, my loyal lack of the, um, loyal comrades. A new age shall dawn, my friends. Hail! An age of power and majesty. Hail! An age of freedom without indoor plumbing and the job losses it entails. Hail! A world where a man can carry out his legitimate wealth redistribution business without worrying about quotas. Hail! Where cheap replastering will be outlawed in favour of major structural reinforcement. Yay! A place where low mackerel sales will be a thing of the past. And compulsory smoke-flu cleanliness will be rigorously enforced. Hail! Brother Brigwit, Brother Broom, bring the tome. Now, for the spell of power, I'm gonna bring out the components of the potion, Brother Lightfinger. Yes, Brother Chuckles. Oh, the dark spirits of the universe. And with this bowl, we do consecrate and, and, and so forth. Except now, these, um, these uh, eggs. Eggs. And this measure of corn flour. The, are you sure? As we consign the potion to the flames. The boil and burn. Blaze and bubble. Wait. It says here to simmer at low temperature for 15 minutes. Good grief. What the hell's going on? What exactly are we making? Have I ever told you how attractive I find you? Oh, Chucky Chucky! I have triumphed. Goodness overcomes evil once again. The land is liberated. The serpent is gone. The dragon is dead. The dragon is dead. I killed him. Me. I shall humbly submit to whatever fabulous rewards you feel I deserve. Dragon? Don't be ridiculous. Dragons don't exist. What? Quite so. And since no one believes in them, we can hardly reward you for disposing of one. Next. Hey. Here, wait a minute, I slew a dragon. A real, bona fide, verifiable dragon. They don't exist. Yes, they do. No, they don't. 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 Yes, they do. Do, 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 do and do. No, they don't. They do. They exist if you believe in them. Ah, but no one believes in them. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Excuse me, thank you so very, very much. They do. No, they don't. They do, they do, they do! Dragons, you know, huge, vile, evil, stenchful, slavering... Hello again. Oh, well, when I say believe, of course I meant mm, had heard rumours, unsubstantiated. Yes, well now I'm back. There's a few matters to attend to. Ah, oh, sorry about the, uh, the slavering thing. A bit uncalled for, really. Yes, I'll deal with you later. You summoned it, you get rid of it. Well, here we go again. <laughs>